Hi, my name is Brandon Graisley. I'm a high school math teacher and I'm going to show you how to graph a quadratic equation or parabola using a table of values. Um, so let's start with y equals x squared plus 2. And so a table of values kind of looks like this. We have a bunch of x values that we're going to write in a column and then we're going to have the corresponding y values that we calculate using our equation. So let's start off with, we often will use x equals 0, so that y value is 0 squared plus 2. 0 squared is 0, plus 2 is positive 2, so we have a point 0, 2 that we're going to plot on our graph in a moment. Let's choose an x value of 1. That's a pretty close by and easy one. 1 squared is 1, that's 1 times 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. So far so good. Let's choose some negative values. Negative 1, if I choose negative 1 squared, plus 2. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Positive 1 plus 2 is 3. And you can see I've got a repeated value here. When you see this in a quadratic, a value that shows up twice as a y value, um, that's an interesting clue. Parabolas have a nice u-shaped curve to them. They have this point at the bottom here that we call a vertex. And every point that you have has a corresponding point across over here, or the other way around. Um, and it's always, the vertex is always exactly halfway between them. So I know that halfway between 1 and negative 1 is the vertex. And that point happens to be 0, 2. So that's pretty nice. Let's do a couple more points. I know quite a bit of information about this parabola now. Uh, let's do 2, so 2 squared plus 2. So I'm just substituting that x value into this equation here. That's 4 plus 2, which is 6. And I'm expecting something here when I choose negative 2 for my x value. That's negative 2 squared plus 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6 again. So that makes sense because I've gone 2 away from 0, which I know now is my vertex, and this is also 2 away from 0. So it makes sense that I've got these repeated values. So let's graph this. 